South Africa goes straight, Well, good evening ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the opening ceremony of the Women's Association Craigie World Championship. Will you please stand please for the U United Kingdom's national anthem. to welcome the Lord Lieutenant of Nottinghamshire, uh, Sir John Peace and Lady Peace, uh, to the opening ceremony and also uh, Councillor Mohammed Sagir, the Sheriff of Nottingham. The format of the evening is that uh, we're going to have uh, just a few very short speeches and after that the national anthems will be played. The, play the players will come up starting with Australia and ending with England. Uh, to greet the Lord Lieutenant, the anthems will be played, and after that there will be an opportunity to have some canapes and some wine, which will be brought to you. Sir John Peace, would you please address? <clears throat> well, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a very warm welcome to the players to the officials, to referees, volunteers and spectators attending the second Women's Association Croquet World Championship being held here at the Nottingham Croquet Club in this great county of Nottinghamshire, Robin Hood country. Congratulations to all of the players from 12 countries worldwide who have been selected to take part in what I'm sure will prove to be an excellent competition, including top players from each of these countries. This World Championship is the pinnacle of competition for women's croquet, and I have no doubt that many of the croquet matches will be both exciting and long remembered by all of those taking part. But I'm sure many of you know that Her Majesty the Queen is patron of the Croquet Association. And as the Queen's official representative in Nottinghamshire, she would like me to convey her warmest thanks to the members of the Croquet Association and to send her good wishes to all the competitors for a most memorable and successful event. So without any further ado, I think I can now declare this championship open. Thank you. Sheriff of Nottingham, Councillor Mohammed Sagir. Hello everybody, I'm the Sheriff of Nottingham and I'm proud that my city is hosting the Women's Croquet World Championship. The Nottingham Croquet Club was established in 1949 on land donated to the city by one of the Nottingham's most famous sons, Jesse Booth who started the world famous uh, Boots Company. The club has been here at the beautiful Highfields Park for 86 years with members ranging from complete beginners to the top international players. Highfields has recently been awarded a big lottery grant which will be used to improve areas of the park that are being uh, beginning to show their age including the stream behind the uh, croquet lawns, 
where I imagine they will find croquet ball from the last 86 years. I would like to welcome all the visiting players to Nottingham and I hope you get the chance to enjoy some of our famous hospitality. I hope you all have a successful week and that you take some memories of Nottingham back to your corners of the globe and I welcome you here and I wish you all the very best. Next on behalf of the World Croquet Federation, Mr. Chris Wakeham. Ladies and gentlemen, um, unfortunately, um, President of the World Croquet Federation, Amir Ramses, um, was not able to, to be here, but he sends his very best wishes to all involved in the tournament over the next week. Also, um, Stephen Mulliner, our Secretary General, who was going to speak this evening, has not been able to make it. So I'm afraid you're stuck with me, who's a member of the uh, management committee of the um, WCF. So um, I would now like to just start by thanking uh, Sir John Peace and Councillor Sagir um, for your nice words um, and, for, and for attending this evening. Um, also, I'd like to welcome on behalf of the WCF um, all dignitaries, officials, spectators, and especially the players. Um, at this, the second Women's World Championships. Many of you ladies have travelled from all over the world to be here, and I think you actually deserve a really big yeah. applause for doing that. And it's lovely to see you all here. Um, also, a special thanks go to the Croquet Association, their um, president, Philip Barrett, who's here with us this evening, for hosting uh, this tournament, and also the Nottingham Club for being a dream to be the host club. Um, a lot of work goes into organizing these events. Um, and judging by what I've seen so far, apart from the weather and the fact that I'm getting a bit wet here, um, <laughs> it's going to be a great success. Um, and so thanks from the WCF go to the organizing committee, um, both for what they have done and for what they're going to be doing over the next week. I think all we need now, whoops, is to have some good weather over the next week. Um, and finally, I wish you all a week of good fun and good croquet. Next, uh, a past president of the World Croquet Federation, David Openshaw. Well, good evening, everyone. Um, I specially wanted to be here uh, because during my time as president of the World Croquet Federation, this event um, was discussed and um, um, it wasn't without its controversies as to whether it should be held or not, but I'm so pleased that it's uh, been so successful. First of all, uh, three years ago in Melbourne when there were 48 competitors, although only three countries, and now to see how many competitors and countries are represented today is absolutely fantastic. So I'm really, really pleased and I really wanted to be here to, uh, to see that. And I would like to thank all the people around the world who've made this event successful, the players, the organisers, croquet associations around the world who've supported it, and it's really great to see something like this happening, and I think it's very good for women's croquet, and I think it's already had a big effect in England in terms of enthusiasm this year for various events, and uh, I'd like to see it continue. So I'd like, very pleased to be here, thank you very much, and good luck to all the players. Australia, so please welcome uh, from Australia, Virginia Arnie, Sue Beatty, Kathleen Culclough, Elaine Coverdale, Wendy Dixon, Janine Hawker, Rosemary Landry, Anna Miller, Rosemary Newsham, Anne Quinn, and Alison Sharp.
from Belgium, Caroline Denny. Czech Republic, Anna Kraliva and Dagmar Stepankova. <laughs> Zealand, we have Jenny Clark, Kathy Grant, Nina Mayard Hudson, and Alison Robinson.
Jonathan, welcome Janice Dugid and Charlotte Townsend.
apologise the weather is so English. <laughs> um, from England we have Louise Bradford, Miranda Chapman, Gabrielle Higgins, Mary Knapp, Elsa Lyne, Pat Long, Annabelle McDermott, Beatrice McGlann and Rachel Rowe. Thank <laughs> you. 